Hello and welcome back to the scene editor for Mountain Blade Battlelord. Today we're going to have a look at barriers and how you can use them. I have noticed that several people don't know how to use the barriers probably. So we're going to have a look at the barrier entities and how you can create a barrier with a path. So first off, when you want to add an entity, some of the first entities you see are actually barriers. And uh, hopefully it's obvious that the green part will make you go through it and the red part will actually stop you. So there are different uh, sizes and uh, lengths for these. And some of them are only for the AI. But if you're working on a castle or city or village or something where you need a lot of barriers in order to avoid the AI to get stuck, it will probably take uh, a very long time to fiddle around with all these and uh, turn it around, spin it around, uh, size it and so forth. So perhaps it's a little faster and a little easier to add a path uh, sort of like this. And uh, I know that a lot of people have tried this and know how that works, but apparently they don't know how you can flip it and how you can make it work also for the player and not only the AI. So we're going to do that. So first you create a path and uh, usually for castles and such, uh, the first letter is just an L and then the level so in this case it's just level one and it's the second path so that's just uh, a way of remembering but yeah i'm sure you can call it whatever you want all right so right now we are placing these small vertices so let's just create a random pattern all right so when you want to add a barrier, it's very simple. Just go to the barrier options and make sure it's enabled. So right now you can see it's basically keeping whatever is in here from getting out. So let's uh, say that you actually want it the opposite way. So you want to flip this so you can go out, but you can't go in. All you have to do is that you go to entity, click on it. And right now it's actually the barrier that's selected and not the path. So you go down to script. When you have opened up the scripts, you can see the barrier builder. You can see the name, the mesh, and you can also change whatever this, to, if you want to use some of the others. But uh, I would say you just use the barrier. And of course you can flip it. So that's very easy. And uh, if you want to flip it back, just uh, disable this little checkbox. Now, right now, you can see the mask is only working on AI agents. So there's only agents also. I'm pretty sure this is only for the player. So AI would be able to go um, through this, but the player wouldn't. And of course, there's everything. So. Nothing can get uh, out from here. And that's probably what you're looking for when you're making a barrier. There's also the missile and melee, but I haven't really tested it out, so I'm not entirely sure what it does, but I'm sure you're just gonna need uh, those three. If you want to increase the height or lower it, all you have to do is go to the set scale. So first we just try to make it shorter. Very easy. And if you want to make it larger, you can just put a larger number. So let's find a tower. Let's just use this one. All right, so for a castle scene or whatever you're making, you would usually try to prevent the AI and the player from falling from the top of the tower and down. Uh, especially when you consider that you can actually destroy these um, Merlins. So what you have to do is create a new path. 
So the way I would do it is that I would aim for the top first. So let's just do that. So if you want to move a point, all you have to do is go up to select, find the square, click on it, and then you can move it with a G, or you can press T and use these uh, arrows, or this uh, square, whatever you prefer. Now, what you have to do next is to select them all. So you hold down control and make sure they all change to red. And then you just hold down N and you will lower it. So perhaps something like that. Um, and that might be sufficient. But just for the sake of it, let's try and go into this and increase it to say 4. Now we are certain that uh, nobody can jump out. If you can't really seem to um, select any of these, all you have to do is go to scene, down to path and uh, find it, click on it and now you can see that you can actually select each square. And uh, that's all for today guys, I hope you found this helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.